Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Hold Your Own. We're at, we uh, just got done talking to Stan, and we're going to go ahead and head over to the pharmacist that he pointed out. Hopefully, we don't have an issue with anybody in these woods. It's ten o'clock in the morning, so we got plenty of time today. There's a wolf, I think. I think that's a wolf. What is that thing? What is that thing? Is that a donkey? It's a cow. All right, we're going to chop up this cow because I need the meat. I'm doing okay on food, water, and carbs, looks like, or protein, uh, carbs, and water. Seems like for now. Probably going to need to cook up some food here in not too long, but for right now, I think I'm okay. All right, break this out. How many more arrows do I have? I forget. 146. Yeah, I think I got enough arrows. I think I'm okay. We're gonna have to use. I gotta make sure that I'm careful about this lake thing, man. I although it looks like there's a shore there, but it you know before when I fell into that lake last time, guys, it was rough. It was super rough. It looks like we got a pretty clear shot to the pharmacist, though. So that's pretty. I'm pretty happy about that. And it looks like they're on the edge of town, which is amazing. Then we'll probably take the coast all the way down to the trader well we'll have to cut up to get to the trader but that's a, that's going to be okay yeah yeah we got a shore here so we're good so long as i don't get attacked we're fine and i'll cut in right here oh no stamina you know what well while we're doing that let's go ahead and let's drink some water and do the carbohydrate thing and you know what do i have any more cat food that cat food actually raises my my health and my stamina, which is amazing. I mean, not my I mean, not my health and stamina. It raises my my food, my carbohydrates and my protein. But I don't have any more, so we'll eat that. That'll do for now. All right. I expect that this pharmacist is going to be surrounded by baddies. I mean, I would surround them by with baddies if I were the developer. Because they have all the medical, right? So why not make it difficult to get to them? Although I don't want to see that, I would, I, I kind of would expect that that's what's going to happen. So we're kind of, I'm kind of being as cautious as I can be. Oh, shut up! Stupid deer! It must be in this barn. No. Okay. In the pharmacy, then, huh? That would make sense. Yep, sure enough. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Can't close that door. All right, so hello, pharmacist. Okay, so we have large med kits, fish oil, bandages, scrap plastic, splints, cloth, tallow, fish oil. I don't know what the fish oil is all about. Uh, medical herbs, crocodile oil. All right, we don't know what that other stuff does, but how much is this going to cost me? 20 Oh, that's easy. That's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I need to buy as much meds, as many meds as I can. So we'll buy... Buy that one. We'll buy this one. We'll buy this guy. We'll buy all these bandages. And we'll buy the medical herbs. I'm going to buy all the meds he's got. We'll buy all the tallow. We'll buy the cloth. And let's see. I don't know about the oils. I don't know what they do. It probably does something in one of the one of the place one of the. Oh, what you call it? Oh, yeah. yeah there's my there's my fish can. You know, I thought I said cat food, but it's fish can. Um. Anyway, so. They probably are are used in one of the more advanced crafting stations that I don't have, so that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna sit here in, for a second in a corner, and we're gonna whoop, we're gonna make some more bandages because I can make six. So that's gonna take 
Well, that's going to take six minutes, but I've got bandages. So we're going to use, put the large med kit here and this medical kit here. That way I can go ahead and just spam meds if I need to. Uh, I do have some cloth so we can act with tallow so we can actually go ahead and we can make medical herbs. Go ahead and make four of those. That'll take a minute. And then I have some extra cloth. We can go ahead and make more bandages. Actually, let's do that. And then that'll be done in a minute. As soon as that's done, then we'll go ahead and we'll make our we'll make our cloth bandages. That'll be better. All right, so we can switch that out. All my meds are right here, just in case, man. You never know. I might go crazy and start spamming buttons. Because I'm I'm insane. But I don't think there's gonna be anything else. We probably should. What's this? Fish oil. I'll take it. I mean, I don't know what it does. Oh, look at that. Three med kits. Are you serious? Okay, well, I probably should have checked the boxes before I bought all my stuff. I still would have bought them, though, to be honest. I don't care about that repair kit. Not right now, anyway. I will later. All right. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start making arrows. But we got to go. I think we got to go. You know what? I'm going to sell them the fish oil. Can I sell them the fish oil? Like, I don't know. How much is it worth to you? Three apiece? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and sell it to them. Because, and you know what? I'm going to sell them the salt. Sell them all my non-essentials right quick. Uh, not a whole lot. Glass jars, I probably want to keep those, but yeah, no, we'll keep those. I kind of need everything else. This is all food and stuff. Yeah, we'll keep that. That's fine. All right, so go ahead and make the max amount of bandages right there. That's 10. That's going to take 10 minutes to make, and I'm okay with that. All right, we're going to head back the way we came, and then we'll go out the back way. But we'll head back the way we came, and when I get to where I feel safe-ish, we'll chop some wood, and then I'll start making some more arrows. Because when we get to the trader, I want to be able to make, I want to be able to sell as many arrows as we can. I probably want to jump on this highway right here because it's probably the safest. And I said we're going to chop wood, but not on this highway, I won't. But this way, if there's anybody, they're going to be on the edge of the highway, and I'll be able to see them long before they see me. So, all right, so we're heading over to the trader. So I got to take this, this road all the way over, drop down, take this road all the way over to the trader. So it should be a fairly straight shot. It's going to take me a while to get there. It might be dark when we get there, guys. But hopefully, yeah, it'll be fairly safe. So, yeah. All right. I'm pretty happy, guys. We got eight med eight big med kits, one small med kit. We're going to have, like, 16 bandages. Um, if I die, it's going to be because I didn't smash the button fast enough once I was getting shot. So Because I was I was too, too into trying to shoot the other guy in the head. So, yeah. But I'm okay. It's, it's pretty nice. I actually have enough meds now that I think I feel pretty comfortable. Oh, we got a little gap in the fence here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and, and we're going to chop some wood because I, I need to make arrows. So, and another thing I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't look at on my skills. I've got a skill point. So let's go ahead and let's take a go to our tools and weapons and let's actually go with the damage that our our, our fire axe does. So we can chop wood a little faster. I think we're going to do that. So it's 10% extra damage. So hopefully that's going to. It's going to make it to where I can go ahead and chop trees a little faster, maybe. Let's see what that did for me. Oh, yeah. We get two a pop now, guys. Oh, my God. That's so good. I can do it in five hits instead of instead of ten. And so now I can, make, I can get wood twice as fast. We're going to do the same thing next level with the pick. So we, can do, so we can start making arrows really, really quickly. Okay, I had a bunch of stone on me, which is, you know, the whole point of what I did before. So it was, you know, collecting all that stone and all that wood. So, and now I've got 80 more arrows working. I have five minutes left on my, on my bandages over here. Let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's drink one more water here. 
two more water. And that gives me 15 protein. That's good on that. And then we'll up our carbs again. All right, we're set. All right, let's go. Oh, right, we're coming up on this town. I don't really care to, to mess with this town. So we're going to drop down to the beach. And I'm going to grab a couple more cactus. And then we're going to cut over along the coastline. All right, we're almost past that town. And the, I want to get back on the road if I can. Kind of going out of our way, but I have to, man. I have to. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to just keep going this way. It's just, it's almost, it's almost as fast. I hear a wolf. All right, we can get to the trader. We'll be good. Where is he? I hear him, but I don't see him. All right, so there's the trader's barn right there. So hopefully that's going to be able to. He's got a. Oh, we're going to get like rewards from this too. I forgot about that. There she is. Standing there in her little cubicle. Hello, trader. Hey there. Glad you're safe. I've been scared of doing my best to hide from a militia. I could really use your help. Our good friend Jack needs some resources to fix his boat. Oh, so he can get to Kobe Island for some personal reasons. Can you please gather 20 iron ingots, 20 planks, and bring them to him? He can be found in the one of the red-headed rooster restaurants on Dead Island. Oh, really? I'm not sure which one. He's been moving around to avoid militia. I lost contact with him. What? Good luck, Max. Oh, my name is Max. Dude, lady. All right, here. You know what? Take all my take all my ammo. All right, that's six seventy seven. She's got all kinds of stuff. Does she have? She's got cement. She does have cement. All right, so she's got some cement. But the question is, how often does she get re-upped? That's the question. Meat stew. Wait, what does this do? Plus one max health and stamina when consumed. That's oh, we're buying it. We're buying it right there. That's good. Bam. Oh, no, I don't want to sell it. No. Um. Let's see. What do we got? Boiled corn. Eggs. Potatoes. Kevlar made to make arm. I can't make armor yet though. T-shirt. Berry seeds, potato, baked potato. Curry. All right, so the only thing I really want is that oh, is the cement. All right, so and what's this? Copper ingots. I probably should probably buy those too. I think I'm going to need them. All right, so yeah, that's cool. So we need to make some ingots for this guy, and then we're going to have to go look for him. So I don't know where he is. But that's fine. I think it's time we go back to our base, guys, and do a little build, a little build action. And then I think I need to eat this this soup right away. It's not, you know, it's not a ton of help, but it is going to be some help. Now we're at 101. So, you know, it's fine. I need water, man. All right. So we made it back to her. Now we got to find this guy at the, at the rooster. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head back to my house, which is 1,600 meters in that direction. And how am I going to do that? I guess. Wait, isn't there a red rooster here? I should go check this out and see if it's over here. thought I saw one on the way in. Actually, this is a really big town. You know what we're going to do? No, we're going to go back to the house. We're going to drop up some stuff. We're going to make those ingots, make those planks. And then we're gonna we're gonna see what's up. And how long till I get my next level? I need ninety nine points to my next level. I don't have I don't need much at all. So that's like twenty trees. So once we get back to the house, we'll 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 check those twenty or we'll do those twenty trees. I'll get my next level, and then I'll be able to make a bunch of arrows. Okay, now we're back at the house. Now we can go ahead and focus on me getting this stuff. Seven fifteen in in the evening. Let's see, I don't have any. Ingots. Do I, how much concrete do I have? Do I have any concrete? So I only have the 12 concrete then. All right, so that's fine. I already have the planks made up, but I'm going to have to make some more other stuff. All right, so let's go drop all this stuff off we don't need. 
uh, the nails. Uh, these potatoes actually, I think I can turn those into seed, can I? Uh, potato seed, potato sprouts. Yeah, we'll do that. Because these are going to spoil out on me. So I want to be able to have those when... What, what else do we have? Do we have anything, anything else? Do I, can I make cactus? No, I can't make cactus. All right, that's fine. Uh, I don't know what else I want to do with this. All right, so I guess that's going to be it. That's fine. So we're going to do like that. Drop the copper ingot in here. Actually, let's drop the copper ingot in here. Along with the stone. I could have sworn I chopped down this tree. I wonder if it respawned. I could have sworn I chopped this tree down, guys. We need a bunch of wood. I need to I need to get to uh, the next level so I can up my my pickaxe. So I'm gonna chop down like uh, 20 trees. Actually, I wonder if it wouldn't be better to up my axe again, because if it hap if it does it again, somebody was saying that it's like two hits for a tree. If I'm getting five XP every time, it might be faster for me to up my axe the next time. If I'm getting five XP per tree, I could probably deforest an entire uh, side of the island and level really quickly. We might want to do that. I think I might want to do that instead. So I need to clear this beach. So that I, I mean, I, I like wood around me, but uh, I got to be able to see these baddies when they show up. Cause like we're like not very far away from, from town. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and up the axe instead. I think that's a smart move, because really doing the math, the XP is gonna come a lot faster if I if or if I can cut trees down faster right now, and then I'll and then two levels later I can go ahead and do my my pickle I, my pickle be the same speed, and then we're just gonna make a ton of arrows, and make all the money in the world. That way I can get my own bolt hole. But I think this I think this quest line might actually give me the boat. So it's like, do I make my own boat or do I go find a, a you know, what's his name? Jack? Captain Jack, really? Is that really his name? I swear to God, if he looks like if he looks like if he looks like the dude from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Where's me rum? Alright, there we go. You've leveled, you got one point available. All right, guys, skills, tools, and weapons. Uh, pickaxe damage, we're going to do it. Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, fire axe damage, learn it. All right, now we're at the highest level we can be for that's 20. It's plus 20. Oh, I thought it was a percentage damage. It's plus 20 damage. So it, it means plus 10 per level, right? So now I'm doing 20 damage extra per. Now, how many how many swings does it take to, to get to the Tootsie Real Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let me see. Five. 10 okay i don't know who that person was i don't remember who you were that told me that but you know what you're you you get a gold star for the day you are you are the gold star usual of the day i got to find out who that was and thank you in the next video or you could tell me in the comment section right now who you were thank you for that that two hits to chop down a tree five xp every two hits is amazing that is that is great I'm, I don't know what else to say about that. I've got 1,494, 1,494 XP to the next level. But, I mean, that's 299 trees, right? If you divide that by 5 XP per tree, that's still like almost 300 trees <laughs> to get to the next level. But that's okay. I'm going to be killing animals and stuff like that, and we're going to be building and other things like that. So it's not that big a deal. Oh God! There's somebody in here in the in the mine with me. I can't see. I got a bad guy in the mine with me. I'm gonna have to run past him. He just shot me. All right, there's my health back. Um, all right, he's in the mine with me. I spawned inside because he heard me or something. I gotta go. Is it? Oh yeah, there. Cross me. Yep. Nope. 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 God dang it, boy. Oh. All right. Well, I can't do that. That's messed up. I'm gonna have to put a fire in the uh, in the mine, so I can see. There's another guy right there. Is that a tree? 
That's a cactus. Scared the tar out of me. All right, is he? Where is he? All right, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna have to uh, fast forward time. We're gonna have to sleep, guys, because I can't. I'm not gonna be able to do this at night. It's obvious I can't do it at night. I was going to get my 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 stuff for. There we go. I was going to get my iron for my ingots, and there's no way I can do that in there without some sort of without some sort of light. So I have to put in torches or I have to put in uh, fires. And I think fire fireplace, fireplaces are the way to go. So let's see what we got going on here. All right, I can kind of see now. Kind of. It's super dark, but I can kind of see. All right, let's hope that, that that's going to work for me. I don't know. All right, I'm not sure how much uh, metal I got, but we're going to see right now. All right, ingots. 20 exactly, and then I have 8 extra. Nails. Okay, I'm going to need to make... Let's see what we can do in the way of... How many nails do I have left? Do I not have any nails? Oh, I got 16. All right, so let's grab that and let's grab this right here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Well, I wonder if it's going to let me put a wall there. We'll find out. It looks like I can put, one... oh, I can put out that out there. I think that's what we're going to do. That's better. We'll do this. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be much better for me. Okay, guys, rather than try to take that 20 ingots that I just made and use it to go and find Jack, we're actually going to use that 20 ingots to make an anvil. So it takes 20 ingots and 10 wood planks. We're going to make an anvil. That way I can make some more nails because I need to make uh, scrap metal here in the anvil to make nails so that I can go ahead. I want to try to make... Uh, I'm going to put a doorway here, and then I think we're going to go out with two foundations this way, and then I'm going to go with a wall here and a wall there, and that way I can kind of have a fortification against anybody coming off of this side here. Uh, and That way I can go ahead and try to, uh, you know, have a safe spot to craft, a fairly safe spot. Like, I, I put this foundation out here into the water, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to keep these baddies from coming up on me so quickly and without me knowing that they're there at least i can hear them so i can go out and i can confront them and then this one's going to go here and then really if i keep all my crafting stuff back here and i put walls here and i put a wall here and a wall there it should protect me i'm pretty sure they'd have to come from like way over here or way over there and I don't know that they're going to see me that far out. So they're only going to see me in this perimeter right in here. So if I make this covered, that's a minimal amount of coverage I got to have to be able to be protected um, against gunfire, I think. Pretty sure. Then I can build out this way and build, build, you know, build that way and build this way. And my house should be fairly well protected. I can leave it mostly open. I don't need a ton of concrete. So all I got to do really is just build the walls here. And I might go out one more on either side. Uh, that's assuming that it's going to let me build into the ground like that. I don't know if it's going to let me. We'll find out in a second. Here we go. Well, let's see exactly what it's going to let me do. It will. Actually, it's going to. So I'm okay with that. That's great. Go ahead and just put the door. Put the door in the middle, I guess. It's fine. All right, so that's good. Place the door. If nothing else, that's a small shield. That's a small shield I can run around this thing, and we can cat and mouse this guy if they, or girl if they show up. So um, I'm going to need, like I said, I'm going to need some more nails. It means I need some more clay, but and, and I'm going to need some more metal too. But and, I mean, There's a lot I need, need to make, guys. But you know what? For the beginning of, of the base, I think I've got a pretty solid plan. I think we're going to be good. I do need to go out and loot that town tomorrow. We're going to fully loot that town tomorrow, and we're going to get everything that's in that town that's right next to me and then we're going to go ahead and, and come back hopefully we'll get enough concrete we can go ahead and do two walls maybe four but i don't think they're going to have enough for four because that requires 20 and i'm i have what do i have on me how much concrete do i have on me i have seven so i need 13 concrete to to make my plan come into fruition because i want one here one there one there and one there then i can build backwards out of here and i don't know how far i can go back but i'm thinking it's i can go at least one more foundation maybe two if i can i'm set 
because at that distance, there's no way that they're going to be able to even sense me or be able to hit me. They might sense me, but they can't hit me with from that far away, I don't think, from the shore. So, all righty, guys, why don't you tell me what you think about my game plan? Is it a good game plan? Is it a bad game plan? Uh, you, would you, how would you do it differently, or would you do it all the same? I'm kind of curious to know what you'd like, guys. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.